The idea of acquiring stock from different companies has always had a certain appeal to me. Games that I've played like this in the past include Acquire or Chicago Express. Well, recently a, a game called Airlines Europe was released and it immediately drew my attention because it promised that same sort, sort of play. Airlines Europe is published by Rio Grande Games, uh, supports two to five players, and plays in about an hour and a half. Now, the, one of the things that intrigued me about this game is it's published by Alan R. Moon, who many of you will know from the Ticket to Ride series. Now, I'll say that this game does have some minor similarities to Ticket to Ride, but it is definitely its own animal. So, um, let me show you how the game plays, and then I'll give you my thoughts at the end. I'm a sucker for well-designed game boxes, and Airlines Europe doesn't disappoint. Once you take the instructions and the board out, you can see that each of the components has their own spot. The planes have their own places, all the cards, all the money, point tokens, player aid, and bonus cards all have their own slots. Here's what the game looks like when it's all set up. The idea behind the game is you're shown a map of Europe and there's all these airlines of different colors and what you can do is throughout the game you can add links between cities, thereby increasing the value of each of these airlines. The value of an airline relates to how many points players get throughout the game. Here we can see that white is worth uh, these amount of points. So when a scoring round comes up, whoever has the most shares in white will get 5 points, whoever has the second most will get 3, next is 2, and so on. Players start with a number of shares in their hand, and the idea is for them to play them to the table so that they'll be used during the scoring rounds. On your turn, there's four things that you can do. The first thing that you can do is buy route licenses, and this diagram shows that you can buy either one or two and then receive a share card. So, as an example, if I placed a, uh, a red plane here, and a yellow plane here, I would have to pay three and three, so six million dollars, and then I'm allowed to pick one of the face-up five share cards or take the top face-down one. Because I purchased root licenses for red and yellow, I'm allowed to move their values up by the same amount that I paid. So I'll move red up, one, two, three, and yellow, one, two, three. Another action that I could take is action B, which lets me play shares from my hand to the table. And what this diagram is telling me is I can play all of the same color in my hand if I'd like to, or one of two different colors. And when I do, I get two million for every single share that I play to the table. So what I could do here is I could say, well, I want to play my two blues, play them to the table, and then I'd earn $4 million right away. Air Abacus is a special kind of stock which can only be acquired using action C. And what this says is I can trade any one of my share cards for one Air Abacus stock or three of my cards to get two. Finally, action D is simply take $8 million. So the game continues with people performing one of these four actions. But as time moves on, these share cards will keep getting taken and they'll be replaced. Now at a certain point when one of these cards is taken, a scoring card is going to show up. And so whenever you see this card show up, then everyone gets to start making points for all the companies that they own shares in. Here's a really simplistic example of how scoring works. Let's say that this is player 1's cards, and this is player 2's. So when we go to score blue, we look at who has the most blues. So player 2 has 2 blues, so they'll score 9 points. Um, player 1 only has 1 blue, so they'll score 5 points. Play continues until the final score card has been drawn, everyone does their final tally, and a winner is declared. 
Uh, I'm gonna draw a lot of flack for this, but I, I really can't get into this game. Um, I'd say that the driving force behind this game is you're trying to acquire those stocks for, for all those companies to try to make the most points. Uh, unfortunately, the, the way the game is designed is you can't really plan ahead for what you want. Like, I could start the game saying, I want to get green stock all throughout, and I could actually be in a position where I don't have access to a green share for that entire session. Um, beyond that, though, I, it is a solid game. Uh, it's very easy to teach. Um, even non-gamers can be up and running in no time. Uh, it makes sense what you're doing. I mean, you're acquiring shares, you're generating points, more shares equals more money. It's, I mean, it flows really well. I'm kind of left in a quandary on this one. Um, I've played this game with about eight people, and of those, about half of them feel pretty much how I do about the game, where it's 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 okay, but the, the final outcome feels just a, a little random. Now, the other half of the people I've played this with, and my girlfriend is actually in this camp, have uh, really loved this game. Uh, I, I think it's for the identical reason where there isn't this long-term overarching strategy, and you can just sit down, enjoy the game, and that's that. Now, being the reviewer, ha, what do I say about that? Well, it's my review, and I guess in the end, I, I'm going to have to say it pretty much gets a pass. But if you're looking for just a bit of a lighter play experience, it, it may be a perfect fit for you. So to soften the blow a little bit, I'm going to grade this on a pretty unique scale. I'm going to give this game two kitty cats out of three. See you next time.